The Marvels is a film we've all been anxiously awaiting the release of, not because it's going to be good, but because it's most likely going to be a disaster, and we all think it's going to be hilarious to see Brie Larson actually be knocked down a peg. But now, the Marvel's director, Nia DaCosta, is unsurprisingly playing the racism and sexism card in promotion of the movie. I have a few different things that I want to show off, but before we get into the topic, if you enjoy the content that I create, make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. Follow me on social media so you can see when my content is posted. And of course, if you do really enjoy the videos and live streams I create, consider becoming a Dark Titan via Patreon or a supporter via YouTube memberships. So starting off with this Bounding Into Comics article, it says the Marvel's director, Nia DaCosta, unsurprisingly played the racism and sexism card while promoting the upcoming film. Now, yeah, I can't really say I'm all that surprised that she is doing this because she's done this several times in the past, right? Everything to her is about race. You either are with her or you are against her. You are either an ally or you are an enemy, and she just does not accept the fact that there are some people out there who don't like the products that she makes, that people out there are not very excited for this upcoming movie, and she just cannot stand it. So instead of just allowing people to have their opinions, oh no, you're racist and you're sexist if you don't like it. But it would not be a promotion for a Walt Disney film without someone playing a victim card, and she sure made sure the Marvels would not be an exception. Speaking with Vanity Fair, she stated, sometimes as a black woman, you realize that people think you take up more space than you actually do, or your voice sounds louder to people than it actually is, or your tone is more stern than it actually is. And she added that some crew members on previous sets she worked on said things that are super inappropriate that you would just never say to anyone else because they were so specific to my gender, my race, my age. And while she does not directly say it is because of social media, I am sure that some of what she's talking about is because of the backlash she has faced online. She has faced a massive backlash since the announcement of this film and it's creation, and especially over the past few months now that we finally started seeing some character posters, some, you know, set photos, she has faced quite a bit of backlash, and I'm sure that that bothers her. And instead of just accepting that people don't like her film and don't like her content, as the weeks go on and we get closer to the release of this movie, and she, of course, is doing more interviews, I am certain we are going to see this narrative be pushed more and more, because this is just kind of the Hollywood standard at this point. If you think your movie or your show, just content in general, is going to face backlash, just just accuse people of being racists because it always works. The media will always run to your defense. Say, poor you, poor you, you faced so much, so much criticism and so much hatred. And they don't actually look at the context. They don't actually look at what people are saying or give examples. While she did not provide any examples or names of, right, the people that were being mean to her behind the set uh, and potentially, you know, racist, Vanity Fair's Rebecca Ford made it clear none of this happened on the set of the Marvels. She had a very different experience on the Marvels, fortunately in part because she had the power to hire the people she wanted for her team. And of course, we know the people she hired were women and people of color. We know that primarily behind the scenes from what we have heard it's all almost all women and then of course you 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 bring you bring race into it, right? There's there's people of color behind the scenes. And uh, that's her, you know, magic superstar team. Not actually people that, uh, you know, are the best for the job. I'm not saying that there aren't people that are good at their job on, on this project, because I'm sure that some of them are. But she wasn't really looking for skills. She was just looking for, you know, women and people of color. Uh, she said, I didn't realize it was ever going to be about how much power I amassed or how many great movies I made or if I won awards. It was always just going to be the people that I surrounded myself with. The thing that I've been most surprised by lately is how much respect I'm getting from these middle-aged white dudes that I work with. Ah! So she brings up that, oh, 
potentially, because it's not being confirmed, that people were being racist to her on set, she decided in turn to be racist. All she views these people as are middle-aged white dudes. Why do you have to bring their skin color into it? You know, the people who talk about skin color the most are people saying, I'm being judged for my skin color, but then you have people like her going out and straight out just defining people by their skin color. It just, it, it, it boils my blood because if you are facing some kind of racism, yeah, obviously that is not okay. That is not acceptable. But then she goes and just defines people by their skin color and expects people to not call her out on it. Middle-aged white dudes. Why does it matter if they're white? Why does it matter if they're middle-aged? Just say, you know, the dudes I'm working with. Yeah, I mean, you should be getting respect if you are the director and producer and you're the lead on the project. Of course, people need to follow your lead and actually listen and respect you because they are your employees and they are helping you on this project. But not only did she play the racism and sexism card, but she also appeared to distance herself from the film by claiming it's actually Kevin Feige's film. It definitely seems like, uh, you know, they kind of used her at the beginning for a lot of the... Uh, backlash. They just kind of threw her under the bus and said, oh, hey, it's her movie. She is now trying to in turn do that so that her name and her reputation is not severely damaged by this film, which to me screams that it is not going to be good, that people are probably not actually going to like it, and it's going to face even more backlash once it has fully released. I mean, obviously, we do not know, but it seems safe to assume, and we've heard several things about this movie that definitely do not sound good. She previously claimed the film is different from other Marvel films because it's really wacky and really silly, which in my opinion is not what I want to hear. I'm perfectly fine with there being humor in these movies, but I think only a certain type of director can do it in a really good way. Of course, we've had James Gunn then Taika Waititi, and of course Kevin Feige's done some more comedic content, and it's okay to have jokes in these movies, but to try and make this a comedy just... I don't think it's going to work, at least in my opinion. I mean, I haven't seen the film yet. Maybe it'll be great. I highly doubt it. And then we heard rumors that the latest delay was the result of Brie Larson's diva behavior, and it's a shit show behind the scenes, but... We've also heard that the CGI wasn't up to par. It just was not good. It was not what they were expecting it to be, and they needed a lot more time. I mean, this film has been delayed several times at this point, so it seems that it has had some disasters. But to top it all off, we recently heard that the Marvel's budget was $130 million, meaning it was one of the lowest in MCU history. So that, to me, screams that they, uh, from the start, we're not really that confident in this film. I mean, originally it was supposed to be a Captain Marvel solo film, and then they added these two other characters in, Miss Marvel and Monica Rambeau, to try to bring more people in, bring other audiences in. I just don't think that it's going to work. I think that this movie is going to release. It is going to be a massive, massive failure and a massive money sink. And having people like Nia DaCosta coming out and saying all of these things during interviews just, to me, is not a great way to do it. It just isn't going to make me any more interested in the movie, and I know it's going to push a lot of potential viewers away. Um, but yeah, this is the newest situation. She's unsurprisingly playing the ra racism and sexism card in promotion of the Marvels. But that's all that I really had to discuss in this video. Let everyone know your thoughts in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed this and of course found it important and informative, make sure to give it a like, share it, and subscribe to the channel. And of course, if you didn't, make sure to give it a dislike. I appreciate your support either way, but I will talk to you all again in the next video really soon.